Today is a significant moment for Immuni Global, not just for receiving this prestigious award, but as navigators of an innovation journey deeply rooted in understanding the challenges faced by our fellow Filipinos. In the heart of the Philippines, where dedication is a way of life, we Filipinos are known for our steadfast commitment to securing better lives for our families. Yet this unwavering dedication often leads us to a state of exhaustion and discomfort, teetering between complete well-being and illness. Unfortunately, the healthcare sector has largely overlooked this ambiguous state of unwell and its impact on the daily lives of countless Filipinos, especially those in the workforce. The struggles of family breadwinners who cannot afford to fall sick are very real. A day without food, uh, a day without work could translate into a day without food for their families. This reality became the driving force for Immuni Plus, a practical defense, seamlessly blending local natural ingredients to offer hope for families facing the economic fallout of health challenges. As we stand here receiving this award, it is essential to reflect on the journey that led us to this moment. It was not just about making a product. It was about understanding the cultural, economic, and health landscape of the Philippines and creating a solution that is deeply connected with our identity. Immuni Plus represents the rich cultural heritage of the Philippines and the healing properties of local remedies used for centuries, acting as a health partner and contributing to the well-being of Filipinos. Growing from only four local pharmacies in Cebu in 2021, Immuni Plus has expanded its reach to cater to over 1,500 retail outlets across 40 out of the 82 provinces in the Philippines. These provinces encompass key regions such as Metro Manila, Laguna and Cavite and Luzon, Cebu, Bohol and Negros Oriental in the Visayas, Davao del Sur, Misamis Oriental and Zamboanga del Norte in Mindanao. Beyond achieving commercial success, Immuni Plus has also been a catalyst for positive change. Our sourcing strategy, which prioritizes local raw materials, has uplifted the lives of farming households in provinces such as Cebu, Leyte, and Palawan. Simultaneously, our livelihood program has transformed beneficiaries into micro-entrepreneurs, fostering economic independence and supply chain integration. While our medical mission and nutrition programs have directly benefited residents from different barangays, reaffirming our commitment to community health. Looking ahead, our commitment to innovation remains strong. We see Immuni Plus not as the pinnacle of our efforts, but as the start of a broader exploration into the untapped potential of traditional Filipino remedies. The Philippines, with its diverse array of traditional wisdom and plants, holds a wealth of solutions waiting to be discovered. With this in mind, we are actively seeking ways to address the pressing issues through the richness of our natural resources and cultural heritage. We at Immuni Global envision a future where innovation continues to improve the lives of Filipinos, utilizing traditional ingredients as the foundation of solutions that resonate with our identity. The Mansmith Innovation Award symbolizes our commitment to an ongoing innovation journey, one that seeks positive change, anchored in the values and cultural richness of the Philippines. Thank you for this recognition, and may it inspire us all to keep innovating, exploring, and creating solutions that have a lasting impact on the well-being of our nation. Thank you.
And as we sit over here, I think what people might find interesting is your journey towards the innovation. And I've also had him on my podcast, so I know the whole story, but I'm sure it's of benefit to people over here to let them know uh, the entrepreneurial or rather the innovation journey that got to creating the product. Help us better understand that, maybe from your background and your co-founder's background. Well, we were, me and my co-founders were involved in the FMCG industry prior to launching uh, Immuni Plus. Mm -hmm. We often visit the Sari Sari stores, we visit our retailers, our distributors, and we would often do that early in the morning, like at 6 a.m., 5 a.m. And what we've noticed at that time was a lot of people are already very tired when, even at the start of the day. And we were wondering, why are they already so tired at such early in the morning? And it, it seems like they don't want to go about their work, but then they have so many things to do. Uh -oh. So what we wanted to do at that time was look for a solution to help them get through their day. It's not really about having a cure to any type of disease. It's more of having a health partner with you so that you can continue doing what you're supposed to do. So that was how the story of our brand started. We tried to develop a product that is, in bit, it is a cure for in between being well and being unwell. So it's if you have a slight cold or if you're about to get sick, then you take it so that you can go about your day. Got that. And then help me understand better because many people can say, okay, I've got a great idea. Like you said, no, um, earlier on, Josiah was saying, you know, challenging assumptions, uh, solving a pain point. But after the solving the pain point, it's that collaborative process of coming up with how to solve that pain point, which is key. What skill sets did you guys bring into the picture? Because it's great, it's great to think of that idea, but what did you guys have individually that contributed to creating the Immuni Global product? Well, for me, it was the background in manufacturing. And for my business partner, it was the, the background in selling in FMCGs. So for me, it was in terms of product development. So what we first did was looked for what products, what local products in the Philippines can address this issue. Well, why, 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 why did you go for local and not, um, what is the idea now, no, local is more important than, say, sourcing from abroad? Uh -oh. Well, in terms of the medicine and the healthcare industry in the Philippines, our medicines are very much expensive compared to those outside of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Even in Asia, we're the most expensive in terms okay. of medicines. So we needed to look for a way to lower down costs. Mm -hmm. And one of it was, to work with the local farmers in terms of looking for products that can address the same issue. Okay, so tell us a bit more about uh, the, the process. After you identified the local products, how did you finally formulate the product? Yeah. So we looked for which local products have that best fit for, for this need. And then we tried to see, are there similar products in the market? And at that time, there was no similar product in the market. When you're not feeling well, it's either you take an additional dose of, say, vitamin C, or you drink a fruit juice, or you don't go to work, but then the not going to work is not really an option for most Filipinos because a day without work, as I said a while ago, is a day without food. So that's how we started product development. And actually, the product development took long. It took years. Years, us, years. So, yes. huh? Yeah. Because we also waited for approval from the government. Actually, a lot of businesses shy away from regulatory approvals. But for us, it brings about trust and credibility when you're approved by the government. Got that. And then, so the particular mix of... I don't know, has anybody here, can you raise your hand? Have you tried Immuni Global? Can you raise your hand? Immuni Plus, can you raise your hands? Aside from me here on the stage, seems you have a whole audience to convert over here, uh, our Archua. But it's a, can, you tell, can you tell the formulation? Because I'm a convert, I take it almost every day when I'm very, very tired or before I start the day. Can you tell a bit more what goes into, into the product? Well, the, it's made up of ginger, turmeric, and moringa, mostly. So it's when you have a cold or when you're having sore throat or you're about to get sick, then that's when you take it so that you can continue with what you're supposed to do. And then carrageenan is the stabilizing yes. uh, element yes, of that, yes. right? No. Yes. So when, when the product was done, I mean, it's a great formulation. Eventually, you came out to compete in the market. It's something that, that was kind of unfamiliar. You know, it's a product innovation. How did you make sure that people would buy into that innovation? Because I know, if you think about it, uh, Cebuano product, it was just strictly in Cebuano, not even drugstores, maybe you were just selling. How did you grow it to what it is right now? Well, initially when we started, we wanted to enter into the Sari Sari stores first. And actually we failed at that first aspect because the Sari Sari stores wouldn't buy a product that their consumers would not buy. Mm -hmm. So what we focused and then we looked into, what if we go into the pharmacies? But then the pharmacies also would demand large discounts from us because you're a new product, like who are you to, to them? 
So what we did first was we focused on grassroots marketing. We, we offered to family and friends, and we, offered, we did our livelihood program so that the barangays would accept the product. And after that, once the barangays accepted the product in Cebu, they started looking for the product in the pharmacies. So then, we, that's how we entered the local pharmacies. Once the product moved in the local pharmacies, we were approached by the regional pharmacies. So it was the other way around. Instead of us approaching them, it was them approaching us. And they were more willing to, to go with our terms instead of theirs. So once we entered the regional pharmacies, that's how we entered the national pharmacy chains. That's why now we're available in Mercury, we're available in Watson's. So uh, can you say just like similar to uh, Attorney Aquino is that the pandemic was actually a boon to your business because it was developed before the pandemic, right? Yeah. And then what happened during the pandemic that, that actually helped uh, grow but the business? Actually, in the pandemic, uh, we started product development in 2018 and then we got regulatory approvals in 2021. Yeah. Three years? Three years. Three yes. years, okay. Yes. And at that time... There were, uh, since Immuni Plus was somehow a cure to the COVID, to COVID concerns of, say, sore throat, cough, headache, colds. So people were more willing to try the product at that time, especially because there were no other alternatives. All, all the cough medicines were running out in the, in the shelves. So then, and then people were also more concerned about their health as to putting random chemicals in their bodies. So since what we focus on is local natural ingredients, these are food that you would normally eat, then people were more willing to, to give it a chance. That. And finally, as we start wrapping up this discussion, you know what, uh, the industry that you're entering into, uh, it's, it's like a food, sort of like a food supplement or a vitamin, su vitamin supplement, highly competitive. I mean, from where I'm sitting, I'm seeing so many new health and wellness and yeah, health and wellness slash beauty products uh, emerging into the market using either direct selling or pharmacy uh, or, or, or MLM techniques. How do you plan to stay or to remain competitive here in this, in this industry, for, particularly for Immuni Global? Well, for the first aspect is in terms of the user experience. So we focus on convenience and on the go. So we needed to make sure that the customer would not have a hard time in using our product. So that's why we made it liquid and ready to drink instead of having it to be a powder. So the concept is you're on the road and then you're having a headache or you can't, you're, you're about to faint so you take it. And we've had a lot of feedback from our, from our users who we don't even know that this is what happened to them. And for us, it's more than the recognitions that we receive because these are, this was really the point of the product. And the second aspect is the instant relief benefits that we provide. Because it's very difficult to say if you take a, an additional dose of vitamin C, then you don't really know what the effect of that will be. So that is the second angle. And the last is by being truly Filipino, by focusing on what the Filipino culture has to offer and what Filipino traditions are there, then it gives more, more value to the product because they know that they're supporting their own. That's right. Can you tell us again where you're sourcing the products? That was very interesting for me when you told me before. Where do, where do you source your uh, turmeric, your ginger? So we work with the local, local government units and the farms that they're partnered with, mostly in Cebu, Leyte, and Palawan. Fantastic. And before everything else, um, on behalf of the audience, will you be able to give us some Immuni Plus products. Oh, so, who wants to try Immuni Plus products? Please raise, please raise your hand if you want to try Immuni Plus products. Hindi mo tataas, wala mo kuwang free sample. Pakitaas na, pakitaas, pakitaas lang. Ayan, maraming salamat again. Thank you Thank so you. much, Mr. Ralph Chua.